Hey guys, welcome to the reading. So as many of you may know now, I like to get some kind of symbol or sign, something that you've seen in your life, everyday experience, that is a prompt for you to know that this reading is for you. It's really important to me that I read for the right people and the right message gets across and it's for the very highest of everyone. So I was sitting here, you know, meditating on what the symbol was and I heard clouds, but I've already done one with clouds. So I was like, tell me more. And Spirit said, people who have been felt called to look up at the sky and the clouds today. And I was like, that is so fucking random. But um, Spirit was like, that's it. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> so if you had that happen to you today, where you just felt like you needed to stop, look up at the sky, look at the clouds, this is a reading for you. So let's dig in. Let's see. Whoa. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. Wow. So maybe when you were looking up at the clouds, it was kind of that that daydreaming, you know. Maybe going to your work, coming back from work, and just like a oh, looking up. Believe in yourself. There's there's like big big energy here. There's um something you're keeping inside Scorpio intensity exposing purging and renewing Neptune dream and transcend lush okay and for more Taurus Taurus <laughs> sorry trust patience and stability and I'm feeling okay the moon fixed okay it's felt like a lot we also have the moon with satisfy emotional needs, nurture yourself and others. Fixed stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. And yang. Proactivity, expression, doing, and forward motion. Right, let's take all this in. Yeah, there's like, there's this path happening. You know, we've got the Scorpio and the moon and I just always think of the moon card in Tarot when I see this moon. And paired with Scorpio especially, it's like, there's this dark path that you're on right now. And there's dreams that you have and you, you cannot let go of these dreams. <laughs> no matter how much you go through your life, you can't let go of it. And I just have this vision of you looking up at the sky, just like hoping, wishing for something else. There's just something inside of you pulling you towards it. It's like this Taurus energy, trust, patience, and stability, especially if you are a Taurus, extra confirmation for you. And then proactivity, expression, doing, and forward motion. If you could just act on what you feel inside, you'd be surprised what will happen. Like you're supported in how you feel about this, like you feel this way for a reason. And you are being asked to believe in yourself. What an amazing reading. I love this. King of Swords. Really just conquering that mind. Three of Swords. Yeah, it's like you've broken your own heart with not believing in it. And I get it. A lot of you have probably been told that you can't do, be what you are thinking about and dreaming about. But the growth... They call it like reparenting in a in many contexts, but whatever you were told, you know, just let it go and parent yourself. Tell yourself exactly what you want to believe in and just be diligent in that and things can change. The full nice right at the center. This is available for you, like hundred percent. Two of one. See, you just got to plan for it. You just got to open your mind to it and start working towards it. And you'll just get a little bit of the plan bit by bit, one step at a time. 
so defensive about this. <laughs> but Lush, see, th th this reading is definitely going to be like a what the fuck moment for you. <laughs> um, so that's good. And you're going to continue to have those. You may have already been having like moments like this where it's just like, it's undeniable now, there's something about the energy, 2023, and beyond, you know, there is something different in the air, and it's like, change is happening, we, we really have the opportunity now to move forward in any way we wish to, all we need to do is just believe in ourselves. we need to work through our shadow side, as it's called, our trauma, stuff we need to heal and move on from, we need to do that work, whoever broke our heart we've got to change our minds there's a lot of work there is but it's so worth it. it it's freedom truly and really achieving what you feel inside you can absolutely do this like it's it's right here <laughs> it's all good this is amazing so we're gonna like this clear some negative energy away Everyone watching this video, Spirit. <sighs> Let's get rid of all the shit that's in the way. Let's start this process if we haven't. Or let's accelerate this process if we have already started. <sighs> let's heal. Let's not be defensive about our dreams. Let's follow them knowing that we can and we will as spirits back in us all the way and every time you can look up at the sky remember this reading and remember that feeling of just freedom where you're really opening yourself up to the possibilities the freedom to be like oh what if this was the case what if i could make this happen what if this could be the truth Ooh, so 717 when I said that and that's like seven's all about like spiritual learning so my goodness this was powerful stuff <clears throat> I really 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 hope this found the people I could f feel that I was connecting with and I really hope it helped you lots and lots of luck on your journey May you be blessed. Ooh, may you connect to spirit fully and just believe in yourself. You got this. Lots of love and I will see you next time.